All right then, gang, so we're doing pretty well. We've grabbed all the data from the database that we need, the different pizzas, and we're outputting them right here. But one thing I'm not happy with is how we're outputting these different ingredients right here. Currently, they're just in one single div tag, and it's just one string of text. Now, ideally, what I like to do is a UL tag and then a separate LI tag for each individual ingredient. Now we need to find a way to do this. We need to find a way to cycle through the ingredients and output a bit of template and LI tag for each individual one. Now, when I start to talk about cycling through data, in my head, I'm thinking arrays because that's what we do, right? We cycle through arrays. We've done it for the pizzas. So why not do it for the ingredients? So it would be nice if we could convert this thing right here into an array of ingredients. So how are we gonna do that? Well, fortunately, in PHP, it's really easy to do this kind of thing. We're going to use a function called explode, and that function is going to take in two arguments. The first argument is going to be some kind of character that we want that function to look at and base how it's going to explode this string into an array on. So, for example, we're going to say, OK, whenever you see a comma sign, then I want you to take whatever's before that and put it in its own pocket, its own position in the array. So in this case, it's gonna look at this and say, okay, well, this thing right here, this is before the comma, so I'm gonna put this in its own position at the start in the array. Then this thing right here, this is gonna be the second position because after that comma, it carries on reading and it comes across this comma. So this thing, the cheese, is gonna be put in the second position in the array. And then finally, it finishes reading mushroom. I know there's no comma after it, but this is all that remains inside the string. So it puts that text in the final position in the array. Okay, so we're going to tell the explode function that this is how we want to split up this string into an array. So that's the first argument we're going to pass in to the explode function. The second argument is just the string that we want to explode, which is this. Make sense? So let's do this. I'm going to do it up here in the code, first of all, so we can demo it. And then what I'm going to do is output it down here in the actual template. OK, so quick example. We say explode and the first parameter in quotes is going to be the comma. That's how we want to split and make sure you spell this correctly. Explode, not explode. Right. So that's the first parameter, a comma sign. That's how we're splitting the string. The second parameter is going to be the actual string we want to explode. And in this case, what is it going to be? Well, it's not just pizzas, right? Because that's already an array of pizzas. We want a certain pizza, first of all. So let's just grab the first one and that's position zero. But then we want the ingredients from that pizza. So we can say square brackets again to get the ingredients. OK, so that ingredients property right there, that is the string that is ultimately being output right here. Remember, we output that here, okay? So we cycle through the pizzas, we grab that individual pizza, and we output the ingredients. We need to do zero here because we're not cycling through them here. We're just grabbing one of the pizzas. So this should now give us some kind of array. So I'm gonna print this to the screen using printr, print readable, because that's how we print arrays to the screen. And I'm going to save it and refresh over here. So hopefully we should see those at the top now. And now we can see this array. Zero, tomato, one, cheese, and two, tofu. So it's this thing right here. Cool. So that's worked. So this thing here, if we take off that and take off that, oops, this thing is giving us an array now. So this is the thing, the array that we're going to cycle through for each pizza, for each pizza ingredients. Make sense? So let's just comment this out and let's go down here. So instead of outputting the ingredients like that, I'm going to delete that. And this is where we're going to cycle through them. So I'd like to output an LI tag for each individual ingredient. So I'm going to do a UL first of all, and then I'm going to do my for each loop. So PHP tags and for each. Now, what is the array we want to cycle through? Well, it's going to be explode. Then we're going to take the first argument, which is the comma, then the second argument, which is going to be the individual pizza we're currently cycling through, and we want those ingredients. So this here, this is the array that we're cycling through. Much like we're cycling through the pizzas here, we're cycling through this array 
right here that the explode function returns to us. So that's what we're cycling through. Oops, we need to say as, and each time around we'll refer to each one as an ingredient or just ing. So we'll say ing like so. Okay, so we open up that code block. We need to close this off down here. So let's do another PHP tag and close that off. Now inside we want to output an li tag and that li tag is going to contain the ingredient, this thing over here. Okay, so we're cycling through these. We're turning this into an array, cycling through them, and we're going to output an individual li tag for each one. So it'd be like cheese, tomato, mushroom, etc. So let's just echo out the ingredient. So PHP tags echo, and we want to echo the ingredient. But remember, a user has entered this. Don't trust them. So use HTML special chars, and then inside that we output the ingredient ing. Perfect. So this is where we cross our fingers and hope that this has worked. If we save and refresh, now we can see each one of these has its own li tag. They're displayed differently. Makes sense? Awesome. So that to me looks a bit better. That's how we can take a string and explode it into an array. Then we can cycle through that array.